If you'd like to join me, I, I'd like to welcome you just to treat every everything that we do here as a divine experiment where you are in relationship to your own self. And the one thing I did learn in healing from that basketball sized tumor in only six and a half weeks, besides uncovering the cell memories that were there and the emotional issues that I had deeply buried and not been willing to look at as an adult, is that I learned how important it is to listen to my body, to be open to it, to be open to what it's willing to show me, to reveal to me. It's willing to allow to be expressed through me. And so I know that no one can do your healing for you. The part of healing is that you find your own truth. You find your own answers that you uncover what's stored inside you and you undergo your own process of release and letting go and understanding what's happened to you. And no one else can do that process for you. They, they can help you in a journey process to really access those cell memories and to go through that process. Part of healing is finding your own truth and your own answers. And so that's why I like to consider it a divine experiment where you are learning just to befriend your own body, befriend your emotions, to, to listen to yourself. And so if you'd like to join me, let's take a nice deep breath in. Letting it out and closing your eyes. And another nice deep breath in. And letting it out. And taking another nice deep breath in. And sighing it out. And feeling yourself, giving yourself permission just to relax now. That the body can soften and relax. The heart can open. The mind can open. All of existence can just open and relax now. And you can begin by giving permission to your body, letting it soften your forehead and the corners of the eyes and relaxing the facial muscles and releasing the throat muscles. And, you know, growing up in New York as I did, I used to be so good at choking back my emotions. And now as an adult and with the journey, often when I release and soften my throat, the unshed tears that I was so good at choking back as a kid, they give rise to themselves, unbidden. And so just softening and relaxing your throat muscles, your neck muscles, letting them become flaccid like spaghetti noodles and softening your shoulders. All of us, we all of us carry so many burdens of responsibility. And for today, just giving yourself permission to let go of that burden, let some force of nature come or some angels come and lift it off your shoulders. And just soften your shoulders and relax. Softening the chest, but opening the door to your own heart. As if you're saying, I'm open to life. I know so many times in the past, I thought I was being open. And yet when I went to my heart, I realized I was bracing against life. I was, I had closed some sort of door. I was so afraid of getting hurt again. And so softly, just opening that door again. As if you're saying, I am open to life breathing life in, letting it flood through into all your cells. And with the in-breath, just breathing in molecules of grace and with the out-breath, just releasing what's here to be released and breathing in this healing grace. And with the out-breath, 
just releasing whatever's here to be released and softening the solar plexus and softening your own belly. Let it go flop. And just feeling your whole body just opening up and relaxing as if you're saying, I'm open and I'm willing for life to flood in. And so feeling as if you're opening the whole front door of your body and you're breathing life in. And with the out breath, you're releasing what's here to be released and softening and opening the pelvic region. So many secrets are stored inside of our bodies, in our cells, and softening our upper thighs, our knees, our legs, our feet. And then if somehow, like me, you were bracing against life and you've re erected some walls against life, between you and life. Imagine those walls are crumbling down right now. It is so much gravel turning into dust and they're swept out of the room. And if the body itself has become like armor, well, opening the front door of that armor and the back door of that armor and the side doors, feel as if any masks you have been wearing are falling away. And let the whole suit of armor drop to the ground now and be swept out of the room. And you're just left as open exposure to your own self. The self is realized to be spacious, vast, free and endless in front of you. It's boundlessly spacious and vast behind and infinitely free to all sides of you. Boundless below, skyline. And you're just resting here as a vast open sky of all acceptance. A heart as wide as the world. Now taking your awareness inside your body, and you already know this, the, the body is like this container full of all kinds of emotions. And you know, our emotions are like little kids. You know, some of our emotions are loud and attention seeking. And some of our emotions are shy and scared of us. And some of your feelings, you've pushed them away and rejected them so many times that they don't even come up anymore. They're like a little kid that hide behind closed doors and underneath lids. And you might even say you're sorry to all the feelings that live inside of you, that you haven't been willing to open, to listen, to be present with yourself. And let your body know that for this meditation, that you're going to be open. You're going to be present for once. You're going to really listen to yourself. And then locating a part of your body where there may be a little tension or stress or contraction or holding or hiding going on. Find that area now. Taking a deep breath in of acceptance flooding that area with acceptance, letting it soften and open and be tenderized as if the cells themselves are allowed to open now. And if there were an emotion starting to arise out of that area, I wonder what that feeling might be. It might be as quiet as a whisper, but as you surround it with your own acceptance and soften that area and tenderize it, What's the feeling that's beginning to arise out of that area? And 
and if it had words and could speak, what might this area say? Speak those words out loud into your room. If you gave it a voice, what might this part of your body say? If it could speak, just let the words or the sounds come out. Or perhaps a picture showed up. If there is, step into that picture. How are you feeling in that picture? Or perhaps there's some sort of block or lid over this part of your body and nothing is showing up here. And if there is a lid, you know how you can open a can of peanuts by peeling that lid back? Take hold of this lid right now and lift it off. What's hiding underneath here? And as you open with it, how does it make you feel emotionally? Just welcoming whatever's here and whatever's not here. And taking a deep breath in of acceptance and flooding that area with acceptance. and now coming to neutral in yourself. And then finding another area in your body where there may be a little tension or stress or holding or hiding going on. Locate that area right now. Taking a deep breath in of acceptance, flooding that area with acceptance letting it soften and be tenderized, marinated and opened up. And if there were feeling beginning to arise out of that area, I wonder what that feeling might be. And if there were a feeling, what is it? And if this area could speak and you gave it a voice and it had words, what would it say? And speak out loud those words right now. How does it make you feel emotionally as you hear these words? Or if there's a picture, step into it. There may or may not be one. But if there is one, how does that make you feel as, as you step into it? Or if there's a lid, take hold of it right now and lift it off. What's hiding here? How does it make you feel emotionally? It might be as quiet as a whisper. So just be quietly open with yourself. What feeling is here? Just welcoming whatever's here and also whatever's not here and taking a deep breath in of acceptance flooding this area with acceptance and now letting yourself come to neutral inside yourself and once again finding yet a third area in your body where there may be a little tension or stress or holding or hiding or contraction going on Find that area now and take a deep breath in of acceptance and now flooding that area with acceptance, letting it soften and be marinated and tenderized and opened as if the cells themselves are opening up. And if there were an emotion that is living there in that part of your body, what might that emotion be? might be as quiet as a whisper, so just stay open. If it could speak and had words, what would it say? Speak those words out loud now. How do the words make you feel emotionally? Or 
or if there's a picture, step into it. How are you feeling in that picture? Or perhaps there's a door somewhere that seems to be shut and blocked. If there is a door, take a key, open the door. What's hiding behind that door? How are you feeling? Just welcoming whatever's here. Also, whatever's not here. And taking a deep breath in of acceptance. And flooding that area with acceptance and coming to neutral. And then just putting out an invitation to the rest of the body that for today you're going to be open with yourself you're going to listen to yourself you're going to be willing to feel what is here to be present to what your body wants to share and that for once you're really going to listen take you another nice deep breath in Sighing it out. And another nice deep breath in. Sighing it out. And one more nice deep breath in. Sighing it out. And the awareness remains vast and spacious, open and free, endless in front of you. It remains boundlessly vast and spacious behind you, and infinitely vast to all sides of you, so that eyes opened or eyes closed, same, same. Taking another nice deep breath in. Letting it out. And one more nice deep breath in. And sighing it out. And you can open your eyes now. And I'm trusting if you haven't yet opened your eyes, just know that you can open <laughs> your eyes now. And I'm trusting that there was a way in which instead of fighting the emotions or pushing them away, that you began to take little steps towards opening with your emotions, to feeling your emotions, to really be willing to hear what your body has to share with you 